Dixon County is mourning the loss of a beloved student athlete. School officials tell us freshman Jalen Harper was on a wrestling trip in Florida. Well, his team stopped so Jalen could see the ocean when there was some kind of freak accident. News 2's Nikki McGee has more from one of Jalen's teachers who wants all of Middle Tennessee to know how special he was. Dixon County High School faculty met Jalen Harper in August, and it didn't take long for Jalen to make his mark. I got to know him over the course of, I guess, four or five months, and uh, during that time, I really um, enjoyed being around him. He was really a great kid. Um, that's one reason why I did want to talk to you today is because I want people to know how good of a guy he really was. Teacher Justin Spurlock says Jalen is being remembered as a gentle giant, not just because of his athletic talents, but also for the kindness he showed others. He had a lot of potential um, due to his size, his athleticism, and also kind of the way that he carried himself and in the classroom. Um, I really thought that he could kind of put it all together and really, really do something in football. I had no idea at the time that he was interested in wrestling, and then he joins the wrestling team and he instantly becomes good at that as well. On point with his character, Spurlock says Jalen was recently asked by another teacher what he would do if he won the lottery one day. And his response? He said he would take one of the hotels and turn it into a homeless shelter for people in need. And so that was really Jalen. That was really who he was. He cared about other people and uh, he just wanted to do things for others. And you don't really see that a whole lot in a guy who's 14, 15 years old. As Dixon County teachers and students work through this tragedy together, Spurlock wants the rest of Middle Tennessee to know about Jalen's legacy. I just want his mom and, and his whole family to know how much he meant to us at the school, um, how much uh, we enjoyed being around him, and how special he was to us, and how much the other students really you know, cared about him. In Dixon County, Nikki McGee, News 2.